Welcome back to another classy video. In this video I'm going to show how to fix the black crush or near black detail problem of the LG C1 and should also carry over to the LG G1 as well. So what I'm talking about here is if you look on this chart the yellow line is how the grayscale should track if the focus will work. There we go. The gray line is how it's measuring. So out of the box you can see it's quite a bit darker in this lower range so what I've done is go into the 22 point white balance settings on the TV and you'll see that there is four settings there's red green blue and luminance so we are not going to be messing with the red green and blue that is something you need to have a colorimeter and software and everything to do yourself on your TV and you should not be copying those settings. And so with just adjusting the luminance I have not seen any change to the RGB balance or colors or anything negative. Uh, so let me come in here real quick and just show you. We have the target luminance is here and this is how it's measuring out of the box and I'm in filmmaker mode and all I did is I uh, just bumped the OLED light up to 60 and uh, just made sure the settings match ISF dark so I want to make those modes is you know pretty much exactly the same so that way I can apply these changes to the ISF dark and then still have this as a base point so anyway as you can see through this whole range they're measuring quite a bit lower than what the target is in some cases it's around half the luminance and then as you can see over here is our RGB balance and you have that dip right there so that's what we want to fix so that's what's making dark areas just appear black and it's one of the few downsides of the LG OLEDs this year and even previous years did have issues with black crush as well uh, but we are just going to work on the C1 and like I said it should also apply to the G1 so what I am going to do now come over here zoom out you can see filmmaker mode and again all I really did is adjust this OLED brightness to 60 like I said I'm just trying to Make sure that there's no real difference between this and the way ISF Dark is set up. Um, and also the ISF Bright one, I have already done a full manual grayscale calibration on that. So that will be you know, used as a reference of what it's supposed to look like. And as you can see, nothing's been changed here. So now I'm going to switch over to the ISF Dark mode, which I've already applied this fix to and I'm going to rerun this again and I'll cut back when it's done alright now that measurement is done and as you can see that gray line is pretty much gone it is hiding behind the yellow line which is how we want it to be if my focus will work there we go So that dip is completely gone. And if we come down here, you can see all these targets are just about spot on. I prefer they be slightly lower, just so that you know variance between panels or whatever, you don't overshoot too much using these settings. And this is all we've done is adjusted this range through here up to 40. So that's all we need to look at. And as you can see over here, the RGB balance is unchanged all that happened is it just lifted these lines over here that were too low if you wanted to improve your RGB balance that's something you would have to get a real calibration done on your own TV you cannot just copy someone else's settings for that kind of thing and that's not what we're focused on here right now we're just trying to remove the black crush or low-level detail loss so now I'm going to go through the settings here what you want to do is you want to go to color go down to white balance 
and change this should say two points at the start you want to change it to 22 if we come down as you can see there's red green blue we don't want anything to do with those we only want the adjust brightness level and the signal level so I'm going to bring this down to the bottom where we start so you notice 2.5 is as low as it gets and if you come back you can see I've bumped that by 12 points and now for a shortcut when you're at this screen you can go up to 5% go over the right arrow and then there's how much so 12 points again we can go back go up to 10 or 7.5 percent we jumped that by 12 as well so I tried to go with the lowest values that will make that line as perfect as possible um, with also having a smooth roll off as you'll see so now we are at 10 percent and that was 15 points and that was the highest that had to be done and now it's going to start rolling back down so at 15 percent we're back to 12 at 20 percent we're down to 8 25 percent was by 5 points 30 percent 5 points 35 percent 5 points and 40 percent 5 points and that's it. And due to panel variance, I do recommend that you maybe try a couple points less to start with and see how it looks and then try these and then decide for yourself what looks better because you don't want to overshoot the target and it's better to be conservative on the on low end instead of overshoot. And now I will uh, pull up a scene with uh, some very dark shadow detail and show you as best that I can on this camera how much it helps. Alright, here we are. This is the scene I'm going to use. It's from the movie Monster. Uh, it's a nice dark scene with some woods in the background and lots of dark shadows on the character's face. And right now we're in the filmmaker mode. This is without the fix. And uh, all three of these are set to the same OLED brightness, the same gamma settings, everything else is the same. So right here, this is the calibrated, manual calibrated mode that I did. So I had to change the lens to try and get this detail to show up and it's still not showing everything that I can see. Let me bump the ISO one more time, just so you can see. I'm going to try and keep it even for the modes though. So I'm going to keep it at 3200 like that, but they're is just a little bit more that I can see in person but so let me go back so again this is how it normally is without a grayscale fix this is calibrated and then here's what the fix so let me show you again there's calibrated how it should look there's no fix and that's with the fix. It is almost as good as calibrated. And keep in mind showing very dark detail like this on a camera is very hard. So there's no, it doesn't lift any of the high areas so you know the brightness on the hair, um, on the shoulders, the arm, just those little bit of bright areas those all stay the same. The only thing that is changing is the dark areas are lifted to where they should be. Let me uh, do it again with the camera maxed out on the ISO 6400. So this makes the image appear brighter than what I see in person. But at least you can see a little more of the detail in the back. So let's go back. Alright, so here again, this is without any changes. That's calibrated. And this is just with the low end of the grayscale being raised a little bit in luminance. So there's no change to colors, there's no change to RGB balance, 
so it shouldn't hurt anything as long as you don't overdo it. And if you have something on screen with a similar scene to this, you can see the changes take effect in real time as you're going through the values. So you can adjust to what looks right and then I would maybe back down a couple clicks just to make sure you're not overshooting too much. And here I just realized the TV remote can also control the shield so that's why it actually backed up. So you're going from this. Again, and I even you know raised the brightness, and that's just how dark it is, to this. And I consulted with calibrator John Reformato from Value Electronics to make sure this would work without any side effects. So that uh, pretty much fixes the LG C1 and G1 Black Crush, or coming out of black too quickly, or low level detail, whatever you want to call the issue, there's a lot of different descriptions for it, but that should fix it for you. And again, I have not measured or seen any negative side effects to this. It is just literally bringing the luminance levels up to where they should be. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out. Have a good one.